Hmm. I uh, see that the scores have increased, and because uh, this is me. Look at all of these. And I think Ticking Teapot was the last person to freaking get the top score in the last one. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna try as hard as we can to get to the top. This is Super Player Negative AE. If you guys are new here, what are you doing? Go watch my other my other stuff. It's 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 good. I think it is. Uh, so they have local co-op now, which is really cool. Uh, so if you have like a like a friend that comes over and stuff, you can like play local co-op. I'll probably play with my brother in the future. But since the game is coming out Wednesday and Thursday, depending on where you live. Um, I figured we played one more time. Sorry for the late video. I didn't realize I would sleep so much. Right? Like, sometimes you just oversleep. Sometimes you stay up all night, and then sometimes you just oversleep. And that's kind of what happened to me. Um. I want Valkyrie to have that. Just in case I ever use Valkyrie. The only way is to slay Rocco who has the key. Okay. So this is Rocco. Uh, but yeah, the game is the game is coming out soon, so we might as well go over and show everything that the game has to offer. I'm gonna try to reach the end. This is gonna be less about me trying to get the top score, and me about trying to reach the end of the game. So hopefully that works out in our favor. I thought that boss room had a health pack thing, so like later levels, they give, if I didn't have that health pack thing there, it would have been stupid. So that way you can kind of pace yourself. Especially when there's endless mode and stuff. Because I definitely want to go endless mode. Dude, you see the sick dodges? Oh, those were not, those weren't sick dodges though. What is this guy going to do? Cool, I like how there was no diamonds. Gosh darn it. <laughs> uh, teasing me like that. Orange pixel, what is this? Um, but yeah, the game's come along. Uh, when it first came to early access, it was pretty much already done, uh, for the most part, with like a few minor glitches here and there, which is cool. It's cool when a game already knows what it's doing when it reaches early access. And I know and I don't have anything against people that like use it like at the very beginnings of their game. I just think that it's better to use it when your game's almost finished, because like first impressions are everything. People are never gonna get the, ta the like the bad taste of like glitches and stuff out of their mouth, even though like you can say all you want, like oh there's gonna be glitches. Uh, I feel like people don't understand. Oh oh, okay. Oh thank God he was nerfed. <laughs> uh, I'll forever love that patch. Whatever patch did that. Uh, I like that we have the health pot, the giant health pot thing. It's like super helpful in case you want to do anything. Uh, it's like it's like an Invincius, except it's not immediate, like no damage. This looks cool, right? But I'd rather go through here first. Oh, good. This looks t more. This looks worse. Either way. It's the spike traps for us. We gotta go about this methodically, because if we don't, we're shit out of luck. Done. Done, done. We don't even need this health box, because we have a giant one. So what is this? You are invincible for a short amount of time. I don't know how that activates. Maybe it's like, a, oh, it's like a scroll, probably. And I have to unlock all the parts of the scroll. Do, 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 do. I don't even know if we're going to get to 20,000, because that's a, a number. 22,000. When I did that 22,000 the first time, it was like, whoa, I did that 22,000. Uh, but I don't even know. Uh, we could do it, though. I, I, I have faith. I have faith. I do want to get to the end of the game though, so I can show you guys a little bit about um, sort of the end boss. Because I heard 
right? That he's planning on ending, planning on, or has already added an end boss, uh, which would be cool to kind of like see. There's also a boss uh, that's in the trailer, which I will link down below, so I'm not lazy. Uh, I like to like say stuff in that in my like to say stuff like that in the videos, so that way like I can't like ignore the video. I have to like rewatch it to like make sure I didn't say anything stupid like that. Uh, because if I did, I need to put it in the description. I can't. But yeah, no, I, I definitely want to put the trailer in there. You guys can go watch it for yourself. See if this is something that you would like. Along with the gameplay videos where I get on top of the leaderboard several times, I mean that could help you out, especially if you wanna get good at the game before you before you start playing it. No, I'm just joking. I'm 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 pretty terrible, but I have the advantage of it being early access and the leaderboards getting reset and <laughs> and uh ooh, wow. There's a lot of enemies that just pop up. Uh but yeah. Uh it's just still early access, so I'm on the leaderboards a lot, which is cool. I, I like being on the leaderboards of things, because it makes you feel accomplished. Because it doesn't really happen all the time, right? Like, you're like, oh, cool, leaderboards? Awesome. Freaking great. Uh, guys, friends, I'm the best in the world at this game. <laughs> or I'm one of the best in the world at this game. It's really cool to, like, just say. Uh, as, and with anything too, it doesn't even have to be like cool stuff. It could be like opening a jar of peanut butter. Freaking, if I was the best at opening a jar of peanut butter, I'd freaking own that that crap. Cause you know, you know, there's gonna be some money out there for that, right? Like, I'll, I'll pay money to watch. Oh, there's Invincius right there. There's our, there's our run saver for for at least a little bit. For at least a tiny bit. I don't want to take it just yet and then take unnecessary damage. Because I know that's what I'm going to do. And we still do have that. Um, I don't know why I just didn't take Attractius. I just like dismissed Attractius as like not good. And so whenever it shows up I'm like oh. Let's not do this. A uh, titanium shield might be interesting to buy, uh, but we don't have enough, so screw it. And we don't need the health because we have this and this. Then we go to the egg. Oh. Oh, good. Don't take this away from me. I just got this Minotaur. Thank you. It almost took my Invincius away, like, right after I got it. It would have been freaking stupid. I would have been like Minotaur. Stop being a dick. Today's been rough. Freaking uh, situations have not been good or anything. But, you know, recording YouTube videos kind of puts you in a different mindset. Can this blow up? Thank you. Jesus. It kind of puts you in a different mindset. Although you can kind of hear it like whenever I'm having a bad day, like I'll rewatch my videos and I'll be like, "Hey guys, what's going on?" <laughs> and it's like I, I've tried to stop doing that, but like it's weird. It's definitely weird. Freaking. Uh, what my question is is who's leaving these money bags around, right? Who's tying up money bags <laughs> and and putting them on the ground? I feel like this belongs in an arcade, but like an arcade that you spend way too much time at. Right? Cause doesn't it feel arcadey? Like like this? It's like the world's first arcade roguelike. Well, that's not true. I would say I'd say to a certain extent, Binding of Isaac is already there, uh, with its amount of items and stuff. Very arcadey. Roguelike, along with uh, along with uh, Nuclear Throne, all these are arcadey roguelikes. Um, I mean, they're good. They're good. They're, they're a fun time. They really are. You know, I could care less. Uh, those those you don't wanna you don't wanna test out the spikes with Invincius on, right? Like if you can avoid spikes with Invincius, uh, you wanna avoid those spikes because in uh, and the reason for for this is that you don't want to 
accidentally get into the spikes and then it, I think it's based off a hit right so uh, you have to dodge every single one like this isn't oh do I have to go through there probably there's only two coins and an experience potion I might go for the experience potion if I'm feeling lucky man this guy was just breathing fire like crazy So I found the key. Is this Flame Shield who has the key? No. So what does this uh what does this guy do? I always see him, right? And I never know. Weapons become stronger for a short amount of time. That sounds cool. That's like a cool thing. My favorite one is come back to life when you die. That's my favorite one. not moving not moving I feel like oh there's the idol I was gonna say I feel like this idol is really far away from the statue or it's not even on the same floor which you know you never you never know they could be like be look be looking for an idol but it's not gonna be on this floor I have a lot of stuff. What do you see? Like, what are you supposed to do with that? Like, it looks significant. It looks like there's something you have to do with that, but I'm not sure what it is. Alright, slow and steady wins the race. No one ever run any races by going fast. I suppose that's a lie. I never really got the, the, the story. Like, I, I, I get that you're not supposed to, like, take breaks and stuff during a race. But you would think... So is that story just... Is, is the story of the rabbit and the hare just to show that you should use common sense in races? Because from my understanding, right, the rabbit goes and he, he, he like, does stupid stuff because he's like, Oh, I'm so fast. I'm so fast that, that I can do anything. But the saying, so the saying is used like, people use the saying for like, speed. Like slow and steady wins the race, like they, they start going slower. That makes no sense to me. It's supposed to be, use your common sense ass, because you're not, you're not as fast as you think you are. Or maybe that's why people go slow. I don't know. I don't know. I have a key, didn't I? Oh. Uh, see, like, you can't mess up like I almost just did. See, that's gonna be terrible to go back through. Right? Like, I'm gonna have to either take a bunch of damage, and there's another one. And another one. I did it. I was watching it, and I timed it correctly. That that's pretty cool. I don't know if that was intended, but that was that's a cool map layout. That's the one thing I like about roguelikes is like you have infinite replayability. So like when you when you start a series in a roguelike, you just immediately know that you're gonna have at least like five six episodes in it uh, because there it's always random. It's always something new. It's always it's always going to keep you entertained, it's always going to be something interesting to watch, um, and it might might even be pretty tough. I'm not going to even pay attention to my score because I've noticed when I, I've noticed when I pay attention to the score, uh, it goes up slow. It's like watching the clock, right, when you have nothing to do. Oh good. Done. We haven't lost in Vinci's yet, so I'm happy. Okay, they keep giving me these. Sp I know, I know it's because I have Vinci's. I know, I know the game's like, oh, you have Vinci's? Uh, here's some perilous spike traps. Makes no sense to me. I don't, I don't want perilous spike traps. I want safe areas. Go. Oh, see, I knew it. Ow. And then I took more damage because I was depressed that I lost in Vincius there. I swear they do it on purpose. I swear the game does it on purpose. It's like, oh, here's in Vincius. 
Oh, but guess what? Here are a bunch of spike traps. Oh, what are you gonna do now? Jerk. Gosh darn it. I wanted Vincius. And now I have nothing. Now I'm now I'm completely boned. Quite literally boned. What are you selling to me? Yeah, I want to roll the dice, but there's no die here. This is... It's, it's like, want to roll the dice? Where's the dice? Um... I don't understand. Where's the dice, man? I know you. I know you're desperate for sales and stuff. Did I seriously just go through the wall? Is that why this is good? It's like I can just like go through walls with my with my stuff. I think that's why that's good. That's a pretty pretty insane ability, actually. Going through walls with your crap? I mean, I, w I would freaking... If I had a gun, if I had a choice between a regular gun and a gun that ran out of ammo but can shoot through any wall, I'd be pretty impressed with the gun that can shoot through walls. Not that I need a gun that can shoot through walls. I mean... I keep forgetting that I don't have... Oh, I don't want to use that. I don't want to use Valkyrie's thing, because I know it goes away eventually, but, uh, I don't know. That's done, this is done, get you, 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 and you. There we go. Get Atractius. Uh, which is gonna be kind of helpful as far as what is going on with the damage. Oh, ho, ho. cool. We have Invincius now. Good. Uh, all we gotta do is grab it and then not take a bunch of damage. When they give you Attractius, there's usually a ton of stuff in the room, like where it would be like almost a pain to pick it all up. Oh no, boss Minotaur. Ah, oh, I hope he's easy. Oh good, I just walked right into spikes because you know, you, the game is not hard enough <laughs> already. So why not? Why not just take unnecessary damage? What? So this is the Minotaur room. Right, big open area, of course, because the Minotaur needs that. You gotta like stop firing almost and like run from his shot. Oh, thank you, Invincius. Oh, thank you, Invincius. I would have died. I would have straight up died. Um, I hate boss Minotaur. Boss Minotaur is possibly the worst boss that you could get. Granted, I have not fought in. There's one boss that I've not fought in. He's in the trailer. It's like a spider boss. He has like a like a weird open gash in the back of his freaking head. Uh, so I've not fought in him yet. But as of the bosses that I fought, which is ev I think everybody else, um, that boss, the Minotaur boss, is the stupidest. Although I wouldn't be surprised if, if if open gash spider guy was like, oh, I'm gonna be the stupidest boss, but for right now for my purposes. I haven't been checking for secrets very much. <laughs> He's done a good job with like because before there used to be like random bits of of uh, terrain out here. Now uh, now that the game's getting closer to release as of like a day now, it's like Oh good, there goes Invincius. I don't even know how this is gonna work. Okay, there we go. Good, you suck. Every everything about you sucks. We're gonna need to get another scroll of Invincius if we're gonna do anything. There's exit 15. We found the secret. 
Uh, what level are we? Six? And there's a shop down here, I think. Uh, definitely buying this. Oh, it's 313. What is this? I don't know what the Minotaur chain does. It's it said something to me, but I don't know what it what it does does. Nor do I want to like experiment with buying it, and I don't think I even have enough money for said item. Valkyrie found a secret. Yeah, she did. I, ooh, I didn't even see that down there until uh, until it came, or whatever. I feel like if if I can combine like all of my voice clips, I would get like a really erotic like sex scene. You know what I'm talking about? Like you know how you say stuff and you don't like totally mean the the out of context thing that you say, but then like someone totally takes it out of context because of course someone has to join that conversation right then. Um. I feel like I do that in like every video, right? And then if like you were just listening, like if someone just like walked into the room at that moment, they would be like, wow, this guy, this guy's a terrible YouTuber. This guy uses money and drugs for his pleasure. Um, which I don't at all, actually. I'm the farthest thing from that. But like, I feel like we're gonna go to level 15. Um, alright, so, so we skipped once, we're on level 15, level 15 is where I remember things starting to get difficult, um, uh, which is fine, uh, I guess the goal right now is to try and see the M end game boss, uh, but I would like scroll of infancies. Oh, I was gonna say, if he's gonna make me fight this and, and that. No way. That might as well call me Insta Death McGee because that's Insta Death. A locked gate. Good. I have an idol. There we go. Those spawners give you a ton of points. Oh, there's Invincius. Guess what we're buying? Guess what we're buying? That's heck yeah, by Invincius. Who wouldn't? Oh crap! Ah oh, shit! It's on Valk. It's on Valk McGee. I don't want. I don't want freaking this on Valk. Granted, I I do have. I do have this, but that that's not gonna last very long. Take this slow and methodical like so we don't lose Mavincius. It's cool that we have it on this girl because, like, are you gonna take me somewhere? Are you gonna take- what do you- Not right now. It's, it's a good proposition. Let's go... I was gonna say, let's go over here. I wanna, I wanna get as many coins as possible, uh, and then, if possible, find another scroll of Invincius, uh for Wiz, for the Wiz kid. Um, and that's it for that. So I guess we're, I guess we're going to to the sewers. <coughs> I'm thinking, I'm thinking skipping levels is, is the way to do it. Like if you don't, if you don't, 
skip level because like you're getting more points okay so that that open hatch spider guy was was uh, the mini version of whatever that boss is which um, I hope it's an easy boss Are those things easier to kill or is it just me? Oh good. Screw this guy. Screw that guy, dude. Screw this guy. He does too much damage. Look at this score that I'm racking up. There we go. There we go. Nice and methodical like. Okay, we're getting those hatchback. Kill him real quick. We should be able to do this because we have plenty of backup room. Get whatever that barrel had. I'm glad that this thing isn't going through hallways anymore, or at least it doesn't look like it is. I still have Vincius. Oh, I thought I almost lost Invinci Boy. Oh, I'll save you for later. So in case anything terrible happens, we do have Invincius right there, uh, which is cool. Uh, I think right before we leave, we take that scroll of Invincius right there. So everything is working out for the better right now. Um, we have this, this, that. I want to talk to you. Strangers, you need healing. I don't, actually. No, I do not need healing. I know they do it on purpose. Look at how many spike traps there are now that I have Invincius. You gotta, you, you can't, you can't, you can't be like, oh, okay. This is normal amount of spike traps to have. I can see them like they're they're they take up most of the screen right now. Oh good, oh good. Cause I needed Minotaur right now. I actually did a pretty good job with that Minotaur fight. There we go. It takes, it takes some concentration to deal with those guys. Look at this. You have to be freaking joking with me. Oh, good. Alright, so I think what we do... is we head back and we get this other scroll of Invincius wasn't there a guy no I think I'm I think I'm mistaken for something else alright so go back get this find the scroll of Invincius come through his Valkyrie that's a big nope that's happening down there they just really want me to lose Invincius see mm -hmm. uh, I don't want to lose Invincius but it's so stupid spike traps I hate the spike traps I absolutely despise them. I absolutely cannot stand them. And then they give you stupid spawner rooms. Get out of my life. Death. It's almost like the Binding of Isaac, I feel like. Like, like they'll give you like troll rooms and stuff. Why is there a secret room where my teleporter room should be? I mean, I'll take it. Boom, boom. Oh, that's because I was just in the sewers. Okay, I get it. It's because it skips a level. Uh, 
Um, I like that guy. I mean, I, I hate him. But I also think he's a pretty cool dude. Uh, can, can you? I know it's not moving. Because at least this guy doesn't run at you and breathe flames. And he's slower. He's slower than the Minotaur. Doesn't run at you or breathe flames. Look at this. You expect me... What is this tomfoolery? Valkyrie found a secret. What are you? Yes! Hey, we got a refresh on the Invincius. Nearby loot will fly towards you. We're doing super well. Uh, we're, we're not even at 10,000 yet, and we're at... What level is this? I don't even know. 22. Jeez. This is where I usually end up dying, it's like around this area. Okay, so what is the secret? Uh, uh, I do, I do have 80. Oh no, I have 75. Alright, well I guess I need to get 80. Uh, what, magic? Show me magic, please. Please show me magic. Oh good, because this is what I needed in my life. Good. I'm just going to cheese you. Nope. 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 I'm I'm staying over here. You can either come over here or nothing. Absolutely nothing. I feel like I'm really bad at like ooh, giving advice to people. I don't know I don't know why that what brought that up. But freaking You never know ow. I probably lost like half my invincius there because those guys do a ton. Whenever I like people ask me for advice, I'm always like, uh, I don't know, because like chances are it's something they have trouble with deciding, right? Like, or they have trouble with uh, talking about. And I, I don't freaking, my life is terrible with decisions, right? Like, I, I don't make any decisions, and, and when I do, they're usually like decisions that, that are generally the good decision. Like, it's like. I'm cheesing you. I'm cheesing you. And I'm not fighting no minotaurs today. Especially not on floor 22 when they can knock out like all your health one freaking sitting, dude. Um. I know there's another room right there, but uh, I just wanna. I don't wanna head all the way back. If I lose by a couple score, then I'll be pissed. Uh, but I don't I don't know if I'll get to 33,000 but we'll see okay I'm glad I had Invincius there because that guy was pelting away at me and I'm sure he hit me a couple times either that or I just really skilled at dodging I hate this guy I hate this guy come back to life after you die is my favorite if I could get that one more time, because things kill you so fast in this game, you'll you'll it, the run will be zero to a hundred or a hundred to zero in like a second. You'll be like, oh wow, I'm doing so well. Oh, I have scroll of Vincius. Oh, I died instantly because like if you you can't scroll of Vincius doesn't mean you're so much invincible so much as that um, you just can't take damage, which I guess is the definition of invincibility. But my point is that it can run out fast or faster than you want it to which is kinda where I'm going with that um... 10,000 so at least we're trying at least we're at least we're putting forth an effort there's the exit up there let's go down here since we're close uh, and take out some of the score uh, we got 11,000 now 
I think the trick is to just not worry about stuff. The more you worry about stuff, the more likely it is that you're gonna worry too much, right? And then you're gonna, um, and then you're gonna mess things up. But that's the thing. Like back to what I was saying earlier, is like I don't, I don't give decisions. Who's, who, who wants to make a decision about someone else's life, especially someone else's life? Like someone asks you, if someone's like, oh man, uh, my freaking toothbrush is is alive and talking to me, right? Should I kill it uh, and face murder charges? Or should I... Oh, and there goes Invincius. Oh good, I can cheese you from right here. Cool. You should start dropping Invincius for me. Magical Forest? What do you want? Monster generator usually in the magical forest. There is a monster generator. I like the I, you know as much as I I, I think those guys are scary. I, I like those enemies. I like those uh, spiderling enemy guys. I hate. Ooh, yeah, like those guys. I like those guys. They look cool. Uh, they don't seem to be too much of a threat. Is that just like you're letting out gas or something? And and you feel better so you heal? Oh good. Oh good. I'm glad since I now ha don't have Vincius, things are going smashing me. Smashing. Smashingly. Smashingly. Those guys are such a step up from everyone else. <gasps> Twelve thousand. Oh, jeez. Well, at least we tried. At least we got we got there. We got to dungeon 25, which is farther than we've gotten, I think. I think I've gotten to 30 before. No, 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 28. 28's my highest. <sighs> Unfortunately, not as good. I don't I don't actually know. Is it, is it as good? I don't think it is. Gosh darn it. Oh, and of course, more people are beating me now. Oh, because she, she, she's just trying to... He's trying to he's trying to beat Teapot, I think. Um, I'll get back on the leaderboards. You'll see me on there. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. But most of all, go check out this game and uh, go go to the go to the Steam store. I'll have, I'll have the trailer and the Steam page in the description, so you guys can go look at it for yourselves. And if you guys want to high score battle just get ahead of me on the leaderboards cuz freaking all these people I'm coming for that ass dude you don't even freaking know um, and I guess the goal is to try and get up to the top as far as uh, level goes so we can play endless mode and stuff so this definitely isn't the end of the game but the game is coming out on Wednesday and Thursday so make sure that you are checking for that um, and as always, I hope you guys are having a good rest of your day. Peace out, guys.